right, so pretty much what it is, is I've created a new animation, okay? Bone tool dash running, okay? I've got two uh, layers in here, okay? And actually, the, uh, the actual animation has two layers in here, the background and the running chick, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go to the running chick, okay? And I've created like three different ones here, three different movie clips, okay? So if we go here, okay, in this layer, I mean, in this animation, in this movie clip, I have a sample, which is what you saw on the screen, and then I'm gonna need several layers, okay? So I'm gonna need uh, back foot or back leg, back leg, So those are the layers. Okay, let me go ahead and show you. Okay, there it is right there. So I've already shown you guys how to go ahead and take this, okay, and using the pen tool, how to trace it out, how to make it yours, okay? So I'm not gonna review that today. So in using the bone tool, what you do is you go ahead and you make a, a movie clip out of all the parts. So the leg is gonna have three parts, the thigh, the leg and the foot, okay? And then the body's gonna have the body and two wings, okay? Front wings, back wings. The head's gonna have the neck, the head, and the hair. And then the front leg is gonna have the leg right here, the foot, and the thigh, okay? So that's pretty much what they all are, okay? So let's lock them all, let's go to the first one. Okay, the back leg. All right, I kinda know where they go, but you can use it sort of as a, uh, as a guide so let's see back foot take it bring it up here okay so there it is back leg take it bring it up here there it is and you'll see that we're gonna have to arrange it so right click arrange send to back that way it's behind the foot okay and then the thigh bring it in put it right in there there it is okay so now you're gonna do this for all the layers Now you're gonna take the back leg, okay? Unlock it, and you're gonna use the bone tool. So what does it look like? Looks like the bone. If you can't find it, look in these three little dots and look for it in here, okay? So click on it. So now you're gonna take it, and we're working with the back leg, okay? So let's go there, right there. Okay, so there they are right there. So what you're gonna do is click, hold, and drag, click, hold, and drag, and you'll notice this went out of sequence, okay? So let's make sure it doesn't stay out of sequence. Grab your selection tool, okay? Click away, see that? So you're gonna send that to back. Arrange, send to back. There we go. So now, what you wanna do is you wanna select them all, okay? There they are right there. They're in pretty good position there. So this time, lock this layer here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go forward maybe three frames or so. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click and you're gonna insert a pose, okay? You don't copy it, you don't F6 it, okay? You insert a pose, click on it. There it is right there. So if you come over here, you'll notice that that's there, right? But we need the body to be able to position it, so let's lock that one. Let's go to the body. Let's take the bone tool, okay? Let's do the same thing. Go ahead and grab the wings here and grab the wings there. Okay, there we go. Get your selection tool, click away, click on the on the back wing, arrange, send to back. There we go. All right, so now we can actually position them because he seems to be running, so let's go ahead and put the wings back a little bit, okay? Because he's running. So you want the wings down, okay? Like so, all right? You go ahead and insert a pose, and this time what you want is you want the wings to be up a little bit, okay? So let's bring them up. Undo, let's work the back one first, okay? So you wanna make sure you grab that. Bring that one down. Now take this one, bring it up. Now I'll take the back ones. Oh, you gotta be careful with that, okay? So undo, tip them forward, like so. And then grab the line and bring it forward. You can even work on this one a little bit, okay? Take and tip it forward, there you go. All right, so then go forward three frames or so. Insert a pose. And what you want to do is bring them down, 
and let's tip them down okay there we go let's tip this down now and let's bring it back okay there we go So now let's lock that one, lock that one. Unlock the back foot armature and come there. Okay, there we go. So now what we want to do is we want to take the leg and we want to rotate it forward. Oh, be careful how you do it. Okay, there we go. And then take it, rotate it all down a little bit like so. Okay. Now what you want to do is use the arrow keys to move it forward some. Okay. So you want to do that. Okay. So that you don't. Oops, we only want to be in that frame now. There we go. Okay, take your arrow key, bring it forward, down, okay, like so, down, okay. So now, there you go. All right, then go forward, right click, insert a pose. Okay, there it is. You want to take the whole leg, you want to rotate it forward. I use your arrow keys. It's a little bit easier to use the arrow keys and bring it forward, okay. And just position it. There you go. Now, Go forward a couple, about three frames, insert a pose, okay? Bring it forward a little bit more. And this time, take the toe and tip it forward just a bit, okay? Like so, okay? And then take the last one, insert a pose, okay? Use the arrow keys, because it's easier to move it horizontally and diagonally this way, okay? Bring it forward and Rotate it forward, like so. Take the toe, bring it forward just a little bit. There you go. All right, so now if you take a look at it, see that? There we go. Kind of looks like he's moving, right? Okay, so lock it. Now you're gonna do the rest with the rest, with the with the head and with the front, front leg, okay? You're gonna do the same thing. There we go. See that? So it's starting to move. Now you do the same thing with the head. Bring the head back a little bit more. And let's move it back some. Okay? There we go. And let's take this here. Let's rotate it over. Now, oh, we're going to have to be careful there. We're going to have to leave that alone. So the hair is the only thing we can move here. Okay? Let's move the hair over a little bit. Okay? There you go. So now he's moving, okay? That's how you go ahead and use the bone tool to make your animation move, okay? Like so. You work on your animation to use the bone tool. You're still gonna have to add a background, okay? So next thing you do is come over here. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take scale chick and you're gonna bring it over into your timeline, okay? But you'll notice you have two of them, right? So double click on it, okay? What you gotta do is you gotta get rid of the sample, okay? So get rid of it. There you go. Come on. Get rid of it and then come back over here. Now you only have one, okay? So now, let's go ahead and make this smaller. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that and you're gonna bring it out here. So now, you're gonna go ahead and put a tween in here, okay? So let's just do it like, like so. Let's go ahead and uh, create a classic tween. Yep, let's go that far, okay? Go ahead and F6 that, okay? And then take your chicken, run him across, all right? So now, if you take it and you hit return, he doesn't look like it's moving, right? But if you do command return, see, his wings are flapping, but he's going by way too fast, okay? So we need to slow it down some more. So what we have to do is increase the time, okay? So now let's look at it. See? There we go. So now he's running across the screen, okay? So now all that's needed is to create a background, okay? So you can bring a background in using a vector graphic or you can create your own background. But you're gonna need to go ahead and animate a character that's running across and I still need to add sound to it, okay? Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add sound. What I did was I went ahead and imported an MP3 file, Chick Cluck, okay? So what I did was I just recorded myself, you know, 
clucking like a chicken, okay? And I went ahead and made, it was an MP3 sound, so I went ahead and imported that. All right, so what I've done now is I've gone ahead and added an audio layer right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it right in there, all right? Now I've gone ahead and extended my animation out to about two seconds or more, uh, hopefully to fit the uh, the uh, audio, okay? So I'm at about, what, uh, 62 frames, okay? See that, 62 is right there. 62 frames, okay, and I'm gonna add it right in here, all right? So I'm going to click on the first uh, frame, okay? And all the others are locked. So I'm gonna click, hold, and drag out onto the timeline. Okay, so there's my sound right there. So I hit return. Okay, there we go. So it just gives a little bit of sound, okay? Now we go back to our main animation. Okay, back to our main anim animation. And what we're gonna do is, all right, we still gotta add a background in here, all right? So, I don't know, let me just, Again, let me just draw some. Uh, let me let me add a, a sky, and let me add a hills. Okay, all right, and I'm just gonna do it so that you guys can see uh, pretty much what it looks like. Okay. Okay, so now you grab the uh, scare chick. That's the one that we did. So what you want to do is let's go and make this smaller. Oh, you can see it. It's here, check out here. Okay. So there he is. And we'll leave him the same size. That's fine. Okay. You can downsize him a little bit if you want. Okay. Like so. There we go. All right. So we're just going to make him run across. Okay. So right there, just go ahead and insert a classic twin. Okay. Right over here, F6 set. Okay. And then bring him out. Okay, so now you'll see that he goes across the screen. Okay, but you don't hear him, you don't hear any sound, and you definitely don't see the wings or, or his legs moving. You have to press re uh, Command Return to see that. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to go ahead and put a stop. We have to stop the sound, okay? Let's go ahead and go to Scare Chick, right over here. Go to the end, all right? So we need to be able to stop the sound there, okay? And actually, let's put a stop there. Let's see if that works. Right there, okay. So now let's hit, let's go back to our animation. Let's go back over here, Command Return. Go ahead and put a stop right here. Come and return. Okay, there we go. It stopped. Okay. So what we do is we put a stop right here. Okay, that stops the sound and it stops the animation, the movie clip. Okay. But we also have a stop inside the actual timeline for the chick. Okay. We want to put a stop in there too. So both those stops is what's gonna stop the animation from going on. Okay. And the sound extending a little bit past it is fine, okay? So anyway, that's how you use the bone tool, that's how you add audio, and that's how you make the sound stop at the end, okay? Okay guys, you're gonna see that I've got the chicken here and I've gone ahead and put him inside a, an animation that you guys have already seen, okay? So, and I'm also using the camera right in here, okay guys? I've got a lot going on in this and I've got several other movie clips going on, but mainly what I wanna show you is how the chicken works in an animation, okay? So that you guys can see it in a final animation, all right? And you'll notice that the uh, camera's taking the time right off the clock, okay? Right off the computer clock, okay? And you'll notice the uh, levels are being used here, same here, okay? That's how you uh, use the bone tool.